Hi, I'm William Higgins, and I'm here to do a, uh, a walkthrough of the new Logitech Squeezebox Duet. It is a music streaming system that consists of a base station that hooks to your stereo, as well as a Wi-Fi enabled remote with, with screen and touch scroll wheel, tactile buttons, and enables you to control your entire music library and in addition to several online music services, which makes this an extremely powerful uh, remote and system for listening to music in your house. Uh, first off, before we get into the, the interface and the, the duet here, I'd like to show you a little bit about what my system uh, looks like. Right now I'm in my family room, and I have installed uh, over the past course of the past week some in-ceiling speakers not only in my family room, but also out on my porch. Um, and I have all of that running actually into a closet in my hallway that has a, an old Onkyo receiver that I hadn't really been using. And on top you can see there is the squeeze box uh, receiver. And also you can sort of see uh, behind there I do have wired ethernet in the closet to the squeeze box, but it also is Wi-Fi enabled. So if you don't have uh, Ethernet or run on cables, you can obviously use Wi-Fi to connect to your system. I, I prefer in situations like this where I have a dedicated uh, uh, device that I want on my network, I like to have a wired network to make sure that I have the best bandwidth possible. So now we go back into the den. Now this is the real uh, part of the system, the interface. Uh, it, is, it is a very uh, nice sized remote, black, shiny back. Um, it's got a replaceable battery uh, and it does have a charging station. So it's easy to just pop it into the charging cradle uh, overnight and then pick it up and it's ready to go. Um, the scroll wheel is very tactile. Uh, buttons in addition, you know, feels very good, very fluid motion. Um, so as you can see, we have a menu system that's very similar to many systems, uh, iPod, TiVo, however you want to describe it. Um, the interface, you have uh, text selections, and I'm actually just going to go to Music Library. Um, I'm going to select uh, an artist. So you, as you can see, very similar to how most DAP um, and audio players uh, function. By selecting, you, there is a click button in the middle of the wheel, and I can just select, and I'll select a song here, play the song. Album art gets displayed, information about the song, track detail. And I can go back to the list. Back again. If I play all. One of the things I really like about the duet is it's been it's very responsive going track to track, much like a CD player. I mean, it's pretty much instant, at least in my implementation. Um, so there's no lag. I mean, even though we're streaming off my computer downstairs over the network, um, going song to song, all of the uh, all of the interface and the buttons and the menus are very snappy, what you would expect from this type of system. And it really makes for a very solid um, experience. And if I go back out to the main home screen. One of the other more powerful features about this is that it has the ability to connect to some online services, uh, whether it be internet radio, um, it does have uh, Live 365, Shoutcast support, Radio Time, uh, a couple different options there. But uh, there are also music services, which is really powerful. I, I enjoy the Pandora system. And so if I select Pandora, I can sign in with my account and 
I will be able to access the stations I have programmed. Here's uh, one I created for REM. And if I just play this station again, I'm very impressed with how quick it actually responds and goes out. And even though this is pulling from the internet, it's very, very responsive, very nice. So again, we'll pause that, go back. So, several options. I mean, on the music services, you have Rhapsody, Slacker, MP3 Tunes, and one of the features that I did not see advertised and I'm really happy about is Live Music Archive. If you're familiar with the our archive.org, um, their Live Music Archive, it is absolutely unbelievable. If you, if you enjoy um, live music and the bands that allow for taping and things like that, you will find a, an amazing amount of streaming music out there for live concerts. And that is a, that's, a, that's a great feature that I don't, I don't see advertised. Um, but it really shows that the third-party applications are wide open on this system and the ability to customize um, really are almost exponential from what I can see. But in truth, what this thing does best is it just provides a comfortable user experience um, so anybody can pick this up. It's it's very similar to a lot of other uh, MP3 players and things like that. So it, there's a very low learning curve, and the music sounds great. Um, I'm not a, I wouldn't claim to be an audiophile, but certainly I'm a gadget freak, and this really satisfies both in the sense that I really can enjoy the music streaming from my computer, um, as well as the services. And overall, the implementation is, is very impressive, um, well worth the money. Um, this costs just under $400 and is about half the price of the Sonos music system, which is really its only competitor. And uh, being that it is expandable, you can buy more receivers and control them all from the one remote. So all in all, I, I ha I've found nothing negative about it. And uh, I hope everybody finds this, uh, this short walkthrough useful and uh, please enjoy.